I have got um, a windshield wiper problem, two actually. One, the windshield wipers uh, stopped working, or they were working intermittently and not by the knob. Sometimes they would work for me when I turned them on, sometimes they wouldn't work at all. Um, so that's, prob that's one of the problems. I do have a, a brand new wiper motor, but I'm going to do some tests first to see if the motor is getting power before I replace that. Um, but because of that, one day I was trying to just wipe my window quickly, it stopped raining, and I grabbed the arm and I pulled a little too hard, and you can probably see right here, I broke it off. So I've ordered a new arm, and I'll replace that, but today we're just going to take this housing apart and get down to where the um, wiper motor is. But in order to do that, you got to pull off both of these arms, and since i got to um, replace it anyways, now is a good time to do it. So one of the things you're going to need is a hex. You got to pull all these little plastic um, little screws off for the, the cowling. We'll put it right there. Uh, and then this is going to just come off here. And that should loosen this thing up. But now I got to take the, the wiper arms off in order to get that up and out of the way. Right here. And I can never remember if it has to go out or in. Oh, it comes out. So you can probably see, hopefully, that little pin slid out, and now this should come off. But you want to be careful where you're prying, because you don't want to pry against your windshield. So you can see, I'm not even going to put this one back on, because it is broken, and that was my own fault. Okay, those are off and out of the way, and that should allow me to remove this whole plastic cover here. Look at that. Except, of course, the um, windshield washer fluid hose. I'm leaning into a T. So just pop this off carefully. There we go. And then we can take this whole thing and move it right up here. Okay, so you can see now. There's the wiper motor right there. Take these three bolts off, slide that motor out. That's what we're gonna try and do, right there. Oh, look at that. All right, so that's a um, 11 millimeter. This is a Dodge Ram 3500. 13 is it. So that's 13 millimeters. This, you gotta... <clears throat> So the problem is, is that's allowed to go, there we go. Because this can go all the way around, that's how it works. This arm can just goes around and around and around, which makes your wipers swipe back and forth. So, let's put that there, that there. Let's see if this is loose. There we go. Took that up out of the way, carefully. Now we'll go back to and bolting the motor. Oh, I bet those are going to have to come off so this swings up. And that is... Those bolts down there are 10 millimeter. And of course, they're on there. But I think they're going to have to come off so this swings up out of the way. So I'll have to get a 10 millimeter socket. Alright, so hopefully you can see Just be mindful where you turn your wrench so you don't uh, accidentally crank it into your windshield. Or not. It's got to go back before it goes up. Let's come out of there. Where's my screwdriver? There we go. Let me just hold up on that a little bit. And get that out. Okay. So here we have our wiper motor. All right, we have power there. Now what I want to know is if I shut that off, does the light go off? Well, we'll just try it. Actually, just go to high. High. So no power there now. We have high over here. Well, I'm happy. 
Um, I, basically what I've been doing is just some troubleshooting with wires and as you saw just before I stopped the video I was getting power out of these um, while I had my tester plugged on to the battery here as a negative uh, the ground and then I put it into the positives to test the different uh, functions of the switch and it was sending power out here correctly intermittent low speed and high speed perfectly fine when I plugged everything all together it would not work um, so that left me to believe that either the things in there were bad or the ground was bad and after doing some diagnostic work the problem was not with the motor at all it was with the bad ground and what I'll do is I'll put the thing on full speed here so it'll run so basically this is the ground coming from the truck wherever it is it plugs onto the ground of the uh, wiper motor uh, when I plug it in there it won't work but if I take this and plug it somewhere else you can probably hear it and you can certainly see um, the uh, arm uh, turning there perfectly fine so my whole problem right along has been a ground ground wire issue so what I've decided to do is I cut off the uh, original end because it was in pretty rough shape even doing that I put this new end on it still didn't work so the problem is um, somewhere else on this ground wire so what I've decided to do is I cut the ground wire and I'm going to ground it myself in a new location instead of trying to uh, trace down that wire and see what the problem is it's not a big deal on a bolt or I stuck it down the hole there and there's a spot for ground so what I'm hoping when I put the bolt in and pinch it down she'll uh, ground and what I'm going to do before well it won't matter because if it don't I can always bolt it right over here against the body and ground it so that's the plan. So the first thing we'll do is put the bolts back in. We'll take this around here. And this is when we'll test it before we... I know that goes down to a grounded surface. So I just, like I said, I put my own end on it. We'll screw this down here. And hope that fixes the problem. All right, you hopefully can see the motor there turning. Oh, maybe you can see it from up here too. I'm going to switch the speeds. Right here is where I'm looking. There's high, there's low, there's intermittent. Beautiful. And there's off. Excellent. So we'll finish, ouch, bolting this up. All, all because of a bad ground. But, you know, if I would have brought this somewhere to do this, you know, they got a charge and I understand it. And the hose has got to be hooked back up here. Hopefully you can see this, but basically I'm just hooking my washer hose back up right there. All right, that's nice and in there. What we'll do, if we get this back on here, this just kind of slides on. I probably ought to put a a little bit of silicone behind that and that would hold it on just helps seal the hood when you close it okay there was corner things here too but they fell off so we're not putting this one back on because it is no good but we will put the other one back on and now we know this is in the off position so I'm actually gonna climb up on here I know that's going to sit right about like that for the off position. You're just going to make sure this pin is pulled out still. And put it right about there. Bush that down. Lift this up. I know you probably can't see, but then you want If you got it right, that pin should push back over. 
And it looks like it did. Hey, okay, just uh, FYI, save you the trouble. It does matter which way this goes. All right, so I am working on my wiper blades, but here comes my brother. Yeah, that's what happens when you uh, blow a tire on the highway. Tell me about it. Yeah, Dad said, yeah, it's hard, it's hard shaking everywhere. And 